Oh my god, yo, I am so hyped for season 10 of The Walking Dead. Just because one of my favorite shows uh, finally has risen back to being good again. Because my god, the last few seasons has stagnated and, and made the show really boring. But man, season 9 was epic. I freaking loved it. It was terrifying. It was funny. It was adventurous. It was everything that I wanted out of a Walking Dead show, or at least my expectations of that. I feel like ever since the show got to the Alexandria thing, you know, uh, the hilltop, the ocean side, whatever, the kingdom, the show stagnated. It just, it became too grounded. It became uh, not necessarily less about zombies, but, I don't know, it became even less about survival because they were surviving, you know, eh. And then the whole savior thing and going back and forth with Rick and Negan. You know, I, I thought there was going to be a huge blow off. I mean, remember when our heroes murdered all those saviors in their sleep when they invaded, you know, that camp and murdered all those people? Like, I thought, okay, maybe something huge was going to come from that. But the only payoff we got was the death of Glenn and, uh, uh, Abraham, I'm trying to remember his name. I mean, be it, yeah, that's huge. And the loss of those characters also hurt the show. It's just, hey, our heroes are also murderers. You know, our heroes are also doing bad things. And I feel like the show likes to shove it in our face and be like, no, 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 no. they're heroes. They're always good guys. No, fuck that. But anyway, I love the reset that happened last year in season nine. I love this sort of reboot slash, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, and I'm just ever so hyped to see what the hell they do next. So, all right, let's do this, baby! All right, minus 10 points, because the show did not start with the previously on The Walking Dead. Yo, that narrator voice, it's one of the best hype voice ever. We all came together Yo, to that to finale it. was freaking awesome! I feel like that was more, I don't know, punishable compared to Negan. And I love the, I love the fact that they finally did Winter, you know, and zombies. <gasps> Our space. Is that where Rick is? <laughs> Training day? <laughs> is this hell? What? Holy crap, look at that guy. Oh. Ah! Because she's a cutie. Protect her. <laughs> oh god, they totally are protecting her. Ugh. Water zombies. Ugh, I bet they stink. They never talk about the smell of the zombies. Cause I bet that shit smells. Yo, I love these shields, but where the hell did they get them from? What? This is Sparta? <laughs> Why? <gasps> Oh, now, now it's time for the Spears peoples. Ho! Oh, oh. Ho! Yo, this is told. Yo, yep, yeah, this is Sparta. Yo, don't mess with one of my favorite movies of all time. Yo, 300? That movie was freaking awesome. Oh, it's now the lady's turn! Okay, now we're just gonna just be brutes. Forget about strategy now, it's just about hacking and slashing. <laughs> oh no! What are we to do now? That's the that same shit you guys were doing! Why do they look terrifying? Ha! Uh, really? That seems extremely dangerous! These dudes, I swear, they must have some serious Call of Duty training here. Of all the headshots they've been, you know, getting. Uh, looks like you need a strong woman to help you with that, among other things. <sighs> I, I, I sense traitor. 
I don't. I don't know. Thank you. Hey, Julie, she she uh, sounds too good to be true. <laughs> this is awkward. It's it's like, hey, look, Judith is not the only kid. What? How how do you not know you got a, a zombie face? Yo, the best freaking song theme thing ever. Show. This song is just freaking awesome. What's with these the uh, titles? River must have huh? it down. Look, no one saw Alpha's herd move out, so maybe no one saw them move yeah, back. Yeah, again. What, what if one of them is blending maybe in with you guys? I'll gather a group of five. Wouldn't you want to be extra cautious? I feel like this is how they're going to get them. You know, I feel like the whispers are going to get them because our heroes are going to do something stupid. Are we the good guys? Such an odd question. We're the villains of someone else's story. Threats of their survival. Oh, oh. So dangerous, they threaten to wipe us out. Yeah. Makes you wonder sometimes. Well, too late for that. What the hell? What is he doing? Being so reckless. Oh, shocking! Stop. Oh my god. You, you want another limb cut off? I do about to be the real Iron Man. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> We've all been acting like this is normal. Holding our breaths for months. Um. This isn't normal. We have to keep our cool oh. or they win. I've been keeping my cool my whole life. I've I see what nice he, he's scared about. Eric is dead. Okay. Jesus okay. is dead. Okay. He died for our sins. I, I. Cause knives never got me anywhere. Yo. But smart did. Yo, kick him out the group. Ooh, they found a camp? But it seems extremely abandoned. Yeah. Like they haven't been there for months. It's not what we wanted to show. Oh. 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 Dude, what if they left to get more zombies and then when they come back you're like <gasps> Ooh, woo, woo. Um Looks like he's been here for a while. What? Is he alive? Wow, yeah! <gasps> oh. Jeez, they're not just peeling faces now, huh? Fear is dangerous. It can drive us apart again. And we're gonna need to squash it before it starts. Why is Michonne talking like Batman? But fear can also keep us safe. And I know who Rick and Carl were. I I I don't know. We have to choose to be. The best. I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's such thing as good guys in this world. I feel like there's just people who want to survive. I I don't think it's a matter of ethics anymore. That's when the answer to that question starts. This is, and that's scarier than any skin mask. I I don't know. I don't know. It's a hard subject. Well, that's really interesting. Um, Judith is telling her little brother about her dad. That's very sweet. Oh! Explosions! Oh! Aliens. Bird. Found it by River must have carried it down. Never heard of the term. Mean? I'll do it now. <laughs> It'll open a whole new world um, for you. And you're picking it up so quick. You're a natural. There's nothing natural. Uh, this. well, your hair is. It's all pretty and stuff. How the hell do you straighten your hair in the end of the world? Should be here for this. What? Hey, kid. <laughs> What have you done in the past however many years you've been <laughs> Ooh, yeah. where to begin? Get back to work. You're supposed to keep your distance. Oh, super scary guy. He's got cooties. Um, 
What is with this guy? Oh. Does he know more than we don't? Traitor! What the hell, spider? Um. What? We're like gods in the apocalypse. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna be the first one to die. What's with this whisper here? What? Wanna get a room? Excuse me? I. I. The way you're. Oh? Uh? Kiss me already! Shit! What? <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank you for checking on me. Anytime We're doing I'm so gay! Or should I say God? Or maybe he was just kidding. I'm not, I'm not, what, did, <laughs> did he really want the kiss? Yo! Motherfucker! Carl died for you! And he was a far more, better interesting character than you! What's the harm? Oh, I see what Negan is saying. And it's almost sort of like what Michonne was saying, too. Talking about they were heroes. Interesting. Oh, and then now they... Huh. Oh, where are you going? Why is he calling Oceanside? Something of grave importance is about to happen. What? Oh, interesting. The kid is losing his hearing? Ooh. You and me together, remember? Yeah. One of them is so going to die. <laughs> like, I just feel the tension that this episode's building up. I wonder if dog, the dog, is going to die. <laughs> they couldn't give it a clever name, so they named it Dog. Likes you better. <laughs> she brought him the dog back. That's cute. I hope they continue this chemistry, but I hope that doesn't mean that she dies. I like her. You sign with a southern axe. How, how does that know? Is that even possible? Can you sign language with an accent? What? She's gotta be kidding. I don't know. I feel dumb. I would believe something like that. <gasps> Carol. Was anything there? Hasn't been for a while. It's been a while since I heard Whoa. from you. They mentioned Maggie! <gasps> uh, uh... Creepy finger, zombie? Oh, no. No, Maggie, girl! Oh, they're hunting for food? Oh, here it comes. Stop. Why? Zombies. It's one of your borders. Why are we still respecting borders we never agreed to when Alpha isn't even what? here? Can we? Yeah, re respect the diplomacy. A deer could have fed two hundred people. What? I got an idea. Why don't we eat and not talk? <laughs> Should we make a matching collar for dog? You ever wonder if this is all there is? Just run into Ooh, people. So philosophical. Kill each other until whoever's left. Who so? Philosophical. Sometimes I think there's got to be people out there like us. Right? Oh, interesting that they will say that. Are they finally going to tie in the other show with the fear? I don't. New Mexico. The hell's in New Mexico? They want to go to... People who weave bracelets. So New Mexico? Okay, so now we've seen their perspective of them seeing whatever the hell's falling from the sky. Lines we cross. Oh my god, can we just fight out? Wolf we'll fell from the sky. Oh. We gotta go now. Let's go, come on. They just wanna know what it is. Oh, it's a big fire though. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna be able to put that out. Yeah, like there's no way they're gonna be able to put this fire out. Or they are? Oh. Um, hell, why? They're gonna put this fire out and then the freaking whispers are gonna come back and then we're like, motherfuckers? Why are you in my side of the land? 
Wait, 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 what? In order to put out the fire, you're gonna put out a fire? Okay, boss. What the hell's wrong with the CQ, man? You, you that old, my guy? And now random zombies are showing up. Damn, that's a lot of them. Gamers? What? Look, at this point, it's not that even big of a fire. Like, like retreat. And I just realized now it's an easy way to figure out whether a zombie is a whisperer or a regular zombie. Because a whisperer doesn't really emote. He doesn't go rawr. And you can see their mouths too, in a way, right? A whisperer just walks and pretends to be a zombie. Or am I that stupid? Oh, what? Oh, she used the zombie. I mean, it was not really a zombie. Oh, that's that's silly. It won't see you that much fire. I said, what if he miss? Oh, perfect aim, my guy. Okay, so just like that, the day was safe. <laughs> We made the right choice. Yeah, no, don't jinx it. Maybe this buys us some goodwill. This helps them too. We helped our people. That's enough good for me for now. <laughs> Where's Carol and Daryl? <gasps> oh, where did they go? Hey, hey. You can't go over there. Oh. What does Carol see? Huh? What do you say? Ah! <gasps> dun dun dun! Yo, she's not even that scary. You can literally kill her from here. Alright, um... Shit! Uh, 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 ow! Don't even know how to begin to this discussion here. A, a very flat episode, honestly. Um, obviously the show is now building towards this huge tension of, oh my god, what are the whispers going to do now that they you know, we broke their rules, you know, we've been invading their turf, we've been going over there more than once. Are they gonna retaliate? Are they gonna kill us? Are they gonna punish us? How are they gonna punish us? You know, you kinda gotta, you gotta love uh, that mindset, at least for the history of The Walking Dead, with how tortured our heroes are, you know, because they've experienced this more than they should, you know, with the governor and the saviors, terminus, you name it, you know, there's always someone out there that will re retaliate and take something away from them, but they just don't know what, you know, it, it could be a slap on the wrist, it could be everybody's dead today, you know. So, to live in that fear, it is kind of nice to see the characters confront that fear, you know, of like, yo, I don't want to live like this, fuck that shit, you know? I, I lived with way too much, I've lost too much to live in this fear, fuck that shit. I love how some people are confronting it, I love how certain characters are like, you know, I don't want this life anymore, I'm out of here, you know? So, yeah, that's the brilliance of The Walking Dead, I love it, I love this reset, you know, of... Wherever the hell this show's going to go. Which more than likely I can kind of see from this particular episode to the end of the season. I feel like this is it. This has got to be the end of the hilltop. This is the end of Alexandria Oceanside. I feel like after this, our characters are finally going to go on the road maybe. I don't know where the hell they're going to go. Canada, Chicago, I don't fucking know, but... They need to get out of this freaking area, man. It's it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, claustrophobic. I guess is, is is that the right word? It's just we need to see, I don't know, a larger world, you know, eventually. And I feel like that's probably the goal for this season. So, all right, that about wraps up my video for today. What are your thoughts on the first episode of season ten? Did you like it? 
that you hated. Discuss with me down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't before, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and support me on Patreon. And as always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching and farewell for now. Bye.